a senior looking for that perfect place to enjoy your golden years? Well, maybe don't consider Orange County. That's what I'm here to advise you. Hey guys, Orange County is often seen as a slice of paradise, but what's it really like to live here? Well, in this video, we'll break down some of the lowlights that make this area, well, not so special. Hi guys, I'm Lucas Smith, your local real estate expert, right here in Brea, which is located in North Orange County. Stick around because by the end, you'll know all the amazing benefits and some of the challenges that come with living in this beautiful region. Plus, I'll share some insider tips that you just won't want to miss. All right, let's talk about some of the cons of living in Orange County. It's really important to understand and consider all aspects before making that big decision to move here, right? Look, you guys, one of the most significant challenges here is the cost of living. I mean, let's face it, it's expensive and it keeps going up. So if you're thinking about moving here, sooner's way better than later, because let's face it, it's just not gonna get any cheaper. Now, Orange County is one of the most expensive places to live in the United States, period. When you take into account housing prices, property taxes, gas prices, oh my gosh, state income tax. And the overall cost of living can be a real burden, especially if you're a retiree on a fixed income. Traffic can be a total nightmare, like a headache with a capital H. Major highways like the 91, the 5, and the 57 are often congested at all times of the day, making even everyday commuting a hassle. While there are toll roads sometimes to get around some of this, they're expensive, and often they're congested as well. So you pay this really expensive toll, you hop on the toll road, and then you sit in traffic. So if you plan to drive frequently, be prepared for long waits and busy roads. It's just a fact. Look, everybody wants to live here and everybody wants to be here. Popular attractions like walking and hiking trails, beaches, amusement parks like Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm can get extremely crowded especially during peak seasons. Just expect that crowds can make it difficult to find peace and quiet in certain areas. California is known for its wildfire season and Orange County is no exception. So it's essential to be prepared for the possibility of evacuations and property damage due to wildfires. Also, take into account rising insurance costs due to increased risk in these areas. You know, in fact, many insurance companies now are even pulling entirely out of California altogether making insuring your home against these disasters less than appealing. And this is for sure something every resident needs to take very seriously before considering buying a home here. Living in California means dealing with the occasional earthquake. While they aren't daily occurrences, it's important to be prepared, right? You gotta have food, water, maybe a generator, some basic essentials, and understand the risks involved. Earthquakes, they sure are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. You could get a mild shaker to a rolling wave to an OMG, the house is going to come down. Okay, now that we've covered all of the cons, let's look at some of the pros. Because you guys, despite all the hee-hawing and mishmash, there is some definite pros here. First up, I got to talk about our weather, right? Orange County enjoys an average of 278 sunny days a year. That's right, we get almost 300 sunny days a year here. This means you can enjoy lots of outdoor activities on almost any day, all year round. Imagine waking up to sunshine, blue skies, and a gentle breeze nearly every day. Sounds like a dream, right? You know, with gorgeous beaches like Laguna Beach, Huntington Beach, Newport Beach, you'll have plenty of spots to relax, swim, play, or just take a leisurely walk along the shore. And you guys, these beaches aren't just for lounging. They offer a variety of activities like surfing, beach volleyball, whale watching, fishing, bicycling, you name it, you can do it. If you're a fan of the arts, Orange County has you covered. Then we have the Seagerstrom Center for the Arts that hosts Broadway shows, concerts, ballets. The Laguna Art Museum showcases California art and there are countless local galleries and theaters to explore. We have top-notch healthcare here and we have access all over. You know, for seniors or soon to be seniors, healthcare is crucial and Orange County boasts some of the best hospitals and medical facilities in the nation. With top rated hospitals like Hogue Hospital and UCI Medical Center, you can rest easy knowing you have access to quality care. 
Orange County's natural beauty and well-maintained parks make it easy to stay active. Again, we have lots of sunny days. Whether you love hiking, biking, or golfing, there are numerous parks, trails, and golf courses to explore. And trust me, I enjoy all of those things. You could go down to Crystal Cove State Park. You could go to Woods Canyon and Wilderness State Parks that offer stunning trails with breathtaking views. We have luxury shopping centers like South Coast Plaza, all the way down to quaint local boutiques and farmer's markets. The shopping here is a shopper's paradise and it's a real delight. Orange County is definitely a foodie's paradise with a great mix of high-end restaurants, casual eateries, and food trucks offering diverse cuisines. Orange County is a vibrant, diverse community with something for everyone. For those who love sunny days and beautiful beaches and an active lifestyle, it might just be your dream destination. However, it's important to weigh the cons and pros and see if it fits your personal needs and preferences. Before we wrap up, here's an insider tip. For those looking to move in or out of Orange County, timing makes all the difference. People ask me, when is the best time to buy a home? I'm gonna tell you right now. If you're planning to move here, consider doing so in the late fall or early winter, when the market is typically a little bit less competitive. I tell people the best day to buy a house is December 24th, because that seller wants to sell and there's less competition to buy. Sellers are more motivated at this time and more likely to negotiate, and you could get a better deal as a buyer. And again, you're facing less buyer competition. On the other hand, if you're thinking of selling your home and moving out, spring and the early summer months are definitely the best time for this, right? This is when people are thinking about moving kids' schools, they're focusing and planning on that, the market's more active, and you'll be likely to attract the most number of potential buyers. You guys, I really hope you found this video helpful in considering your options. And also, remember, if you're ready to make that move, or even if you're just thinking about it, just call the number on the screen and I'll be happy to assist you. I'm Lucas Smith, broker owner, sell my home real estate. Happy home selling, and I'll see you in the next video.